Meredith, they're going for the sweep. But more importantly, right now, over these first two games, Anthony Rizzo, instant impact. And seems like he's a really good fit in that clubhouse, too. Bob, if the last two games are any indication of what Anthony Rizzo is bringing to the table, Brian Cashman and this Yankees team has to be extremely excited. You look at last night, on base five times, also blasted his second home run in as many days, another no-doubter. He has been an unbelievable asset, both offensively and defensively, and it goes without saying he is in the lineup this afternoon. He will lead off. I asked Aaron Boone what he likes about Rizzo in the leadoff spot. I mean, I like him up to bat, first and foremost, but, uh, you know, something he's done in the past, too, and, you know, he, he's one of those guys that really doesn't care where he hits. Um, and, and up against a really tough matchup today and just trying to kind of balance out the lineup uh, as best as possible, and uh, hopefully he gets off, gets off a good start up there today. What stood out to you about his approach at the plate in the short two days that you've had him so far? Well, I mean, obviously he's been terrific these first two days, um, you know, but he brings that, you know, patience up there, obviously the power, um, you know, we've seen him shorten up uh, against the lefty and go the other way for a base hit. You know, he's just, he's had really good at that. And, you know, when I talked to David Ross, <coughs> um, you know, the night before came over, you know, he was kind of talking about the blade of really get really strong. And he certainly carried that over the first two games. What went into the decision to give John Carlos Stanton the afternoon off? Yeah, just you know, back to back days and then the day game after the night game. Um, <clears throat> it was just yeah, today. Uh, <clears throat> but <clears throat> I think really encouraged with with what saw. Neto Dor, obviously he provided a spark when he first got here, but it seems like he's really been productive lately at the plate. What have you seen from him, and how much of an asset has he been to this team since acquiring him? He's been huge, Meredith. I mean, he's been he's been such a good player for us. He's been great, I think, for our team and just what he brings from just from an energy, from a teammate. Um, you know, he's been everything we could have hoped for, honestly. And, you know, Let's not forget that this is a guy that's had a lot of success in the big leagues. This is a guy that's put together some really special seasons. And I think I think probably a guy that, you know, played played on some winning atmospheres in, in Texas in the last couple of years, you know, kind of being more in a rebuilding mode. I, I, I absolutely think that he's been energized coming to a place where, you know, it's it's been all about winning and, and that's kind of who he is. That's how he aligns himself. He's he is team first. Um, you know, whatever role we've had him in, he's he's been productive. Um, you know, he's he's helped us win a lot of a lot of baseball games, and uh, uh, just he he's been. You know, we're hopeful that you know we could tap into some of the. Um, some of the things he's been able to do in his big league career, and he's still a young man, and he's he's absolutely done that and worked his tail off and tries to make adjustments. And but I think the biggest thing that stands out is is what a good teammate he is. 